This is part 79 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to control the height, width and opacity of an image using multiple sliders on the page. So here is what we want to achieve. We're going to have these three sliders. We want to control the height of the image using the first slider. The second slider should control the width of the image and the third slider is going to control the opacity of the image. Opacity is a number between 0 and 1. When opacity is set to 1, the image will be clearly visible. When opacity is set to 0, the image will be completely invisible. So let's see how to control these three attributes of the image using these three sliders. So let's flip to Visual Studio. So the first step here is to include a div element and I'm going to give this div element an ID. Let's call this div height. And similarly, I'm going to include three more div elements. So the second div I'm going to call this width and the third div I'm going to call it div opacity and the last one I'm going to call div dimensions. And let's include a break element after each div element. Okay, so the first three div elements now are going to be used to produce these three sliders and the last development that is the fourth one we will use that to display the dimensions and we need an image element as well so within my project I already have an image so let's use an image element and reference that image so image and let's set the source attribute to tulips.jpg and let's set the style attribute and let's set the initial height and width to 100 pixels each. So height is going to be 100 pixels and width is also going to be 100 pixels. Alright, so with these changes if we run it we will only see the image. Now on these three div elements let's call the slider function which is going to give us the three sliders that we need. Okay, so within our jQuery ready function, I'm going to find the first div elements by ID. So let's use the jQuery ID selector, find div height, and we also want to find div width. So find both the div elements by ID, and on that, I'm going to call slider function. Okay, and let's specify the options for the slider function. So the minimum value for both of these sliders is going to be 100. So we want the minimum width and height to be at least 100 pixels. And maximum is going to be 500 pixels. And when the slide event is raised, so when we move the slider, you know, the slide event will be raised and when that is raised, we want to handle that event. So I'm going to have a function with name refresh image. So that's the function that we want to call when the slide event is raised. So we'll define that function in just a bit. Okay. Now, this is going to give us the slider for height and width, but we also need a slider for controlling opacity. Okay, so let's find that development by ID. So again, let's go ahead and use the jQuery ID selector, find the development, and on that, let's call the slider function. Now let's use the JavaScript object. Now for opacity, let's say the minimum value is going to be 0, and maximum is going to be 100. And again, as usual, when the slide event is raised, we want to handle that using this refresh image function which we are at to define. So now let's go ahead and define that refresh function. So function refresh image. So this is the function that will be called when slide event is raised. Okay, so that's when we want to do most of the work. So at this point, let's save the changes. Let's go ahead and reload this page. So now we should get those three sliders. Notice that we have these three sliders and we also have the image. Now let's actually set the slider of the opacity to be on the right hand side. So we want the initial value to be 100. We want this image to be completely visible when the uh, web page first loads. So I'm going to set the opacity to its maximum value. So let's go ahead and set value to 100. Okay. So let's save the changes. Let's go ahead and reload this 
and now notice that for the last slider the slider is on the right hand side all right now we need to retrieve the height width and opacity values from the respective sliders and then we need to set those values using the CSS function for this image element so let's go ahead and do that so within refresh image function I'm going to create a variable let's call it height so first let's go ahead and retrieve the height value so I'm going to use the jQuery ID selector again find the div height element and on that I'm going to call slider function and ask for value property okay so basically here we are saying give me the value property of the slider okay so within that variable we should have the current height value from the slider similarly we want to retrieve the width and opacity values so I'm going to change the variable name here to width and the div element that we are interested in is div width and we want to retrieve the value of the value property similarly we have div opacity and we want the value property of the the value of the value property and let's change the name of the variable here to opacity so we have the three values now let's find the image element now image element also has got an ID that is so we haven't given the image element ID so let's give it an ID let's set it to my image so let's find the image element by ID my image and let's use the CSS function and then specify the three properties that we are interested in so what are the three properties height so we want to set height to what we have in this variable similarly let's go ahead and set the width width to what we have in the respective variable and opacity to what we have in our opacity variable now if you look at the opacity slider the value is actually ranging from 0 to 100 but then in reality opacity value is a number between 0 and 1 when the opacity is set to 1 the image will be clearly visible when opacity is set to 0 the image will be completely invisible okay so if we divide the number by 100 then we are going to get a number between 0 and 1 okay so we are setting the three attributes here and the final thing that is left is to display those dimensions within this you know the fourth development that we have here the div dimensions okay so let's find this div by ID div dimensions so let's use the jQuery ID selector find the div and I'm going to use the HTML function and what do we want to display we want to first display height so height equals and height is present in height variable and let's append an HTML break there so let's make a copy of that and let's include a plus there and paste what we have copied the next attribute that we want to display is width and width is present in width variable and if you want you can append this word pixels saying that that unit is pixels you know the unit for height and width is pixels and finally we want opacity so opacity equals and opacity is present in opacity variable okay so let's save all those changes reload our page and look at this when we move the slider you know height slider look at that height at the moment is 129 pixels width is 100 pixels and opacity it is saying 100 but keep in mind opacity is a number between 0 and 1 so when we display the value let's actually divide that by 100 so we get the exact opacity value that we are setting for the image okay so let's save the changes let's reload this page and look at this now opacity is one that's why the image is you know clearly visible and look at this as we move the height slider the height of the image is you know keeps increasing and when we move it, move it to the left hand side it decreases similarly let's go ahead and control the width using the width slider and look at what happens to the width dimension here 
okay and similarly opacity look at that the image is clearly visible as we move it to the left notice that you know it fades away slowly as we move it completely to the left you know uh, the opacity becomes zero and it's completely invisible as we move it to the right it becomes visible so here is the jQuery code that we just looked at thank you for listening and have a great day